Hey YouTube, Freedom for Cats coming at you. Hey, it's another crazy day here in March. It's 80 plus degrees. And I am here at the theater to get my tickets for the Hunger Games. I've been covering the Hunger Games quite a bit lately because I think the content of the movie has a lot to do with where we're at now as a country, as a government, and as an economy. I encourage everyone to get out there and watch the movie. Uh, I, I'm getting my tickets here because I want to see what the movie is all about. I know the gist of the movie, and I think it's pretty scary to think that the government can control everything, food, water, medical supplies, and break up the nation into 12 different districts, 13 if you count the hidden one. But uh, and, and then again, the comparisons to the FEMA camps are uh, there's uh, 10 FEMA divisions in the United States, and if you add Hawaii and Alaska, that equals 12. So there's a lot of comparisons to the United States and the Hunger Games as what's going on in the United States right now as a government and as a country and as the, an economy. So I want to encourage everyone to get out there and get your tickets, watch the movie, tell me what you think. Hey YouTube, Freedom for Chaos coming at you and here I have my tickets for the Hunger Games. It's rated PG-13 which kind of amazes me considering it's about murder and violence for the right to survive for food, water, medical supplies. It's kind of crazy but uh, got my tickets and here they are. Hey guys, well I've been doing a lot of coverage on the Hunger Games as you know and I guess the reason why it bothers me so much is that it's about children killing children for the right to survive, for the right to have food, water and medical supplies. And the government that's controlling this new co continent makes a game out of it. And I find that very very disturbing. What I find very disturbing is that the the movie industry sees no problem with this movie and in fact it's only rated PG-13 so with that you know Obama has just signed the latest executive order giving him the right to declare martial law whenever he sees fit and what kind of concerns me is that that's kind of where our, our, our country is headed much like that of the Hunger Games you know, leave your comments behind and let me know what you think. You know, I want to, really want to encourage you to go see the movie. I'm not trying to, you know, uh, uh, do a, a cover for the movie because I'm not going to make any money from it. But I'm really curious for you to get out there and get a perspective on the movie and follow up with me. The premiere is Friday, March 23rd. I'm going to go see it on Saturday the 24th. I have my tickets ready, as you've seen, and I'm just covering the movie because of the content of what it expresses. I'm not saying it's a violent movie, but what message is this movie giving out? It's all about control, control by the government, control to control everything, every aspect of your life. How much food you get, how much water you get, how much medical supplies you get, what kind of house you live in, whether or not you can hunt, whether or not you can have weapons. This isn't America. That's not the United States. But is this movie a precursor to where North America is going to? Leave your comments. I really want to know your opinion.